Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making rose water for my locks. So stay tuned so you can see how I do it. Thanks. All right, so today I am going to be making rose water because I've seen so many videos and so many posts about the benefits of rose water. Normally, I buy my rose water, but it's expensive for a teeny, teeny little bottle of rose water. <laughs> and I got all this hair. I said, you know what? I'm always into the DIY and what's cost effective. So rather than spending for a tiny little vial like 15 20 dollars and it goes like this i said i'm gonna make my own so i watched a couple of videos and there are two different methods one method takes bags of ice and has this whole distilling process i'm not doing that i'm just letting y'all know right now maybe i'll try it another time but i'm not doing that today the other one is just boiling and steeping rose petals. So that's what I did. So I went to my local florist and I just said, can I get a bag of rose petals? He didn't actually have any, which I found interesting, but he gave me, he said, how many do you need? I went like this. <laughs> he said, uh, what are you going to use it for? I was like, I'm going to make rose water for my hair. And he said, hmm, that's interesting. He was like, your, your hair is beautiful. I was like, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so instead of rose petals, he went and got five. And y'all know I love five. Five for the founders. He went and got me five roses, snipped the stems off and just gave me the bulbs and i was like okay this is perfect charged me ten dollars i was like mm -hmm, okay um brought them home put them in the fridge and that's what i'm doing this morning so i'm going to be using two cups of water my five roses i'm just gonna pop the heads off put them in the water let it boil until they change color. So I have bright red roses. And when they boil, you'll see they turn like a hot pink and let it sit for a little bit and then pop it in the fridge. Because since it's natural and there's no, you know, what's that word I'm looking for? There's no, uh, wanted to say adhesive you know i need to finish my daggone coffee not adhesives preservatives <laughs> there's no preservatives there's no crazy chemicals it's just the roses and water um so it needs to go into the fridge or else it'll turn right um and it's when i'm done you'll see it's a beautiful like hot pink color the smell some people talk about the smell it's while it, it was boiling it smells great in this house it smells like roses um but some people say towards the end of that boiling process <sighs> a lot of people say it smells like stale urine i didn't find that it smells musty like if you've had your roses sitting in water past their expiration date that smell where it's not gone bad yet but it's on its way um a lot of people alleviate that smell by just putting in drops of baby lavender or some other oil that you particularly like so for me right now i didn't put anything in it yet um so we'll see but i got two whole cups and I can't wait for it to cool off. I'm going to show you guys how I made it. Um, you know, sped up, save you some time. Um, show you how I made it. Put the instructions on there. And I'll test it out. Hopefully, it'll cool off by the time I'm ready to go out today. I got, I got a, a birthday party. And this is looking kind of, you know musty and dusty and 
I'm in need of a retwist already. Look at that, 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 look at 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 you know what you guys haven't seen? Let me do this real quick. So I had it in a little. That's how I sleep with it in my head dye. This is how we're looking. This is six and a half months. Six and a half months. So, no style, just me here, still loving my locks, but the shrinkage is real, y'all, I swear, I feel like it just gets shorter and shorter, my loctician is like, don't worry, before you know it, the length will come, I'm like, when, because this is mad short. Where's my little baby one? My little teeny little baby one. Look at this little one. It ain't going nowhere. Right? When I, when I started my hair, my natural hair was to my bra strap. Right? Six months later. <laughs> I feel like with every retwist and with every wash, it gets shorter and shorter. So uneven. Like... What's happening? But anyway, y'all didn't come here for this. Y'all came to see the rose water. So here we go. I figured I would show you. So this is the rose water most of us buy, right? Natu and by us, I mean natural hair, people who are into natural products. This is the one that is most popular that people get on Amazon. So it is only four ounces, $12.99, right? For this teeny little bottle, I just made two whole cups and a little more because the condensation in the pot made a little bit of more, a little bit of more, a little bit of more. What's wrong with me? <sighs> a little bit more <laughs> than two cups. So this is a little shy of over two cups. Um, so why spend $12.99 on this little bottle? when I could spend $10 and I'm sure if I went to like a supermarket or something and got like, you know, the bundle that they sell over there with the, with the vegetables <laughs> for like $5, I probably, it'd probably be cheaper. So I went to an actual florist and got stems. So, so what I'm going to end up doing, there's a little bit less than half a bottle in here. Um, and what I love about the actual rose water that you buy is it smells delicious. I don't know what they do to it, but it smells delicious. So what I'm going to end up doing, but it has that musty after smell. So like when you first smell it, mm, delicious. But if you let it sit in your nostrils for a second, it smells like what I just made. Um, so the only difference really is the smell and the fact that this is clear. So I don't know what process they go through in order to make it right. The ingredients, the ingredient just says organic rose water. So I don't know what roses they're using to make it clear. Um, and it says Bulgarian, organic Bulgarian. So I don't know. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to mix this because the smell that's the main reason. So I'm going to mix this, what's left. <clears throat> I'm going to mix what's left of this with my rose water that I just made. So that way I still have the smell, but I've now stretched out the rose water. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to do that. You could do whatever is easiest for you. But again, um, oh, so what are the benefits? Duh. Why, why are you going through all of this? I find, um, and you can scroll through some of my natural, my lock videos. I find that even with my misting spray that I use that has um, aloe vera juice, it's got some oils in it, and I mist my hair with that. 
within 15 minutes, my hair still feels dry. And it's got some rose water also in that mix. But I feel like no matter what I do, and that was the nature of my hair from before I started locking my hair. Dry like the Mojave Desert. Dry, 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 dry. So I've been watching that the making of the rose water, it's better for hydration, for hair growth. Um, a lot of people... Um, use it on their face as a misting to kind of set your makeup uh, after you cleanse your hair. It's a, a refresher for your face, too. Um, I'm just going to be using it for my hair because it always feels dry. Like right now, it feels so dry. Um, and even if I put oil in it, it's like it's like oily dry if that makes any sense. So I'm still trying to figure out um, what's best for my locks because what worked for my hair, they say you can't use. And I use the butters. I use shea butter. I use coconut oil. I used all of those when I had my hair natural. But they say you shouldn't use those heavy products on your hair because they get trapped in the lock. Um, so it's supposed to be lighter products for your hair. So we'll see, but I still love it. And now I can do ponytails because I wasn't able to do that before. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. So I know I complain about the length, the, the length, the length, the length. I know I complain about the length, but I can do a ponytail now. I can do two ponytails, which was really cute. I did that earlier this week. I think I'm going to do a video of the styles that I do, but my favorite style is I'll do a upside down French braid, right? And then put these up. Isn't that cute? But again, I'm getting off topic. <sighs> Sorry. Focus. Y'all came here to see the rose water. <laughs> Stay tuned. For real, this time. So now I'm going to show you how i make it okay okay so this is going to be my attempt to record over this speedy uh rose water making <laughs> i got five rose stems from the florist so i'm literally just taking the heads off and putting them in two cups of boiling water very easy very simple breaking them up, but not breaking them up. Do you know what I mean? Separating the bulbs so that they sit perfectly into the water. Not hard. Very simple. And it was only five bulbs and I was able to make over two cups of water. I have my little rubber um, I don't even know what to call that. Spatula. There it is. My little rubber spatula. Pressing the rose petals into the water so that they're all saturated well. I'm not bruising them. I'm not harming them. I'm just getting them fully immersed into the water so that they can completely steep. I covered it. And there are my one, two, three, four, five stems. Okay. I set my timer and I let it steep. Turn the stove off. And as you can see, they went from a bright red to like a mauve, oh, that steam. <laughs> and then once it was done, uh, I took it, put it through a strainer and look at that beautiful, um, pretty pink color. Held it over a strainer, mashed the petals to get every single droplet of my rose water so that I can make the most out of it. My house smelt so good from doing this. Um, it was fun, it was easy. It took me about 10 minutes total time. Um, so nothing at all compared to many of the other things. And it smelt okay right after I made it. I put a cover on it and then stuck it in the refrigerator. 
All right, so now it's 24 hours later and I am going to be taking it out of the fridge and pouring it into my teeny tiny Dollar Tree uh, <laughs> spray bottle until I got my continuous spray bottle. So I'm gonna pour it in and then I'm gonna mix in my uh, Bulgarian rose water. So I have a little colander, it's cold and I'm gonna pour just like that just enough not too much right and then I'm gonna get my Bulgarian rose water that smells so good oh it smells so good right and compared to that it doesn't have a horrible smell but it doesn't have a fantastic smell either so eh. so now i'm gonna pour the bulgarian rose water into my homemade rose water just a little bit right oh it smells so good right as rain close it up shake it up bam 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 right as rain and now test it out there we go. Smells so good. And spritzy, 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 spritzy. And I'm spritzing and I'm spritzing. And this is just rose water. There's no oils and nothing. And it smells so good. Um, the more I sprayed, the more fragrant it got. And my hands oh, smelled great for like hours. So good, so good, so good. Spritz, 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 spritz. And I'm spritzing, 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 and I'm spritzing. I think I was supposed to speed this up. I probably was supposed to speed this up. So now you're just stuck while I'm spritzing. So there we go. And I'm gonna just saturate my hair make sure I move it all around from my roots to my ends and there you have it such an easy process anybody could do it we give you full view ta-da look at my locks looking like locks what what I did that I did that super excited thanks guys for watching that and uh, I'm going to talk about it now. All right. So it is now 24 hours later. Uh, made the rose water, let it sit in the refrigerator, took it out to now mix it, um, as you saw with the rose water that I bought that is fragrant. A word about the smell. It's not an overwhelming smell. It wasn't, I didn't find it displeasing. It was uh, muted, um, if that makes sense. It was a little musty, like old roses that you have in your house, but I didn't think it was disgusting. Um, so when I added the few drops of the rose water that I purchased with the fragrance, it definitely smells better. And it smells good. So... I put it in my hair and I have to say, compared to the way my hair normally feels, like crunchy dry, it feels definitely softer. I, I, I'm not going to lie, definitely feels softer. So I like it. And now I'm excited that I can make my own rose water and save myself a couple of bucks. So this, we're just going to hold on to... Um, until it runs out and I bought myself another small continuous spray bottle because the one that I had was just something that I found from the dollar store um and I bought some lavender and I also have tea tree because I just like those smells so what I will do is I will put in my next batch um you know a little drop of this, a little drop of that, but I definitely like the way it has my hair feeling. I'm feeling so much better than I was originally. So thanks for watching.
make sure you hit that subscribe button, right? And the little bell so that you know when I do post. And, you know, tell me about your own experience with rose water. If you've tried it, if you like it, if you're going to try it, please let me know how you feel about it. And, um, you know, comment, let me know that you're still out there, that I'm, you know, not talking to myself. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much. Uh, and I appreciate each and every one of you who comes and watches my lock journey. All right. Thanks.